Hi everyone. So my name is Daniel and I'm a graduate student at UCI currently entering my fourth year. And today I'd like to talk to you about what I think is the number one most important thing that you want to do if you're interested in attending graduate school either in a master's program or a PhD in physics. So a lot of people will give you advice when you're working towards this goal as an undergraduate and you'll hear things like you need to have a 4.0 GPA or almost perfect grades or um, really high scores on the GREs and that sort of thing. That's what I used to hear. And while good grades are important and you want to do as well as you can, it's not necessarily more important than this one thing. And as far as the GREs are concerned, those are becoming less and less important because they've done a lot of research on them and they're not necessarily correlated with the success that a student encounters in graduate school. In other words, they looked at GRE scores and how students did in graduate physics PhD programs and they didn't find correlations when they did studies on it. And it's an expensive test and it's a racket. Um, honestly, it doesn't test things that are relevant to what you're actually working on, especially the general GRE. Those, those tests are really just, I don't know, they're sort of, it's a very selective, specialized thing and it's not, not really something you even see in your coursework. Um, but this one thing is important and it's always been important, but it's becoming uh, more important than ever. And so here it goes. The undergraduate research experience in the summer. So what you want to do is after you finish your junior year or while you're finishing it actually, you want to contact professors in your department that are working in areas that you find interesting and you want to ask them if they have a small project for you to work on all summer. If you can get a little bit of funding to help, that's great. If not, do it anyway because this is going to really help your chances for getting into a PhD program because it demonstrates that you're passionate about physics and passionate in a way that goes beyond just um, the coursework and the bare essentials. And that's really going to help you stand out from, from you know, the other applicants. And so what you want to do is you want to send out emails. I would send out just one person at a time because if you get multiple yeses, you're going to feel silly saying, actually, I changed my mind, blah, blah, blah. So what you want to do is contact your first pick first and send out an email. Hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm really passionate about research. I noticed that you're doing research on this. Is there any kind of project I can do working, doing research for you this summer, a small summer project as an undergraduate? and give it some time, give them a couple weeks. If they don't respond, maybe send a follow-up email, but if you hear back from them, great. If you don't hear back, send out an email to another professor who's also working in that, in a different area, slightly different area, but you'll still be interested. Now, here's the, where the part gets interesting. What if you're in a really small department and all your picks basically say no and you don't know what to do? contact the uh, person in charge of your program and tell them that you're an undergraduate looking for a summer project and see if they can set you up with something because it's so important that you do this that I would say even if you're not necessarily sure if you're passionate about that specific aspect of physics, it's a short enough project that you're not really committing um, anything that it's going to take up time away from your other things. Now, I will say this, it's better to not do the research during the school year because I know how undergraduate courses are. The course load is very demanding and honestly, it's too much to do research and school work all the time when you're an undergraduate. It's insane as a graduate student, but it's, it's almost impossible because you're still an undergraduate and you're learning so much stuff and you're still learning so it's like you're still i would say best to do it over the summer now if you have if you don't if you have to you can do it during this so the senior year if you juggle your coursework and maybe you have a little bit less coursework over the time but you want to set it up so that you have time to commit to it 
but that it doesn't take away from the time that you need to complete your coursework. If that hope that makes sense. So you want to do this undergraduate research experience. And this is why it's so important because not only do you have something to put down on your, um, your applications that demonstrates that you have a passion for the physics field, but also it helps with your letter of recommendation because the person that you're researching with the professor, you make a good impression and you get the letter of recommendation. Now, don't feel too nervous about it because I can understand the research can be really hard and even a small project like this. So make sure that it's with somebody who has reasonable expectations. Um, if you're, you know, if you're hearing like, oh, this is going to be really hard. This is really challenging. I mean, go with your instinct. You know, you want something that's t challenging, but something that's within reason. I mean, given that you're an undergraduate and you're still learning the field and learning the basics, it shouldn't require like advanced programming or anything like that. Um, one more thing to follow up with this. A lot of people will tell you that you actually need to publish a paper to get into graduate school. That's not true. Um, it's great if you can get on a published paper, but I didn't. And I know that there are people who do. And yes, they do have a big advantage if you can do it and you can get on a published paper. That's fantastic. But I, this is about, you know, what do you have to do in order to ensure you have a good chance of getting into a graduate program? I would say you definitely have to do the summer research experience. If you can publish a paper with a professor, that's just icing on the cake, but it's not necessary to getting in. However, I do think that the summer research experience as an undergraduate is more important than almost anything else. I do think it's as important as getting good grades. I personally think it's more important than GRE scores. Some people may disagree with me and experiences will vary, but in my personal experience, this was the number one most important thing towards getting into a graduate uh, physics program. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos like this where I talk about tips for different things in physics. And also I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff in the future about really fascinating topics in modern physics, current developments, things in my own research and everything else. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.